Trying to find. I thought I had some. Uh, That was insane. Yeah. Sorry, I don't even know how they really... This can't be the finale. It's got to be part three, right? It's three parts to this, right? No. No, I've only heard it's two parts. This So this, the next episode... is the finale. That's why I was confused. But right. they said they, they filmed or they did the, the, the two seasons, seasons two and three, back to back. Yeah, so, so we'll get gonna... season three sooner. Mm-hmm. We don't have to wait two years. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. All right. Technically three years with this. Yeah. Okay. All right. I trust you guys. All right. Um, trust Ronan. Ready? Don't trust me. <laughs> yeah. All right. Here we go. Starting in three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back for another episode review of Invincible Season 2, Part 2 on Amazon Prime. We've got a freaking banger on this one um emotional damage is not even the word um it was very uh important um and yet like from a superhero standpoint they took different lengths that we've never seen the relationships out of what a superhero is supposed to be and um i'm really intrigued how we're going to talk about it without spoiling it because this is a non-spoiler review i have here our two co-hosts busy Braun and drone in the pain what's up man God damn, man. Whew. This episode. And after what we've seen of the first two. Yeah. We are spoiled. Saying. We are spoiled, mm-hmm. y'all. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And um, it's just uh, the thing about, you know, this show specifically and a lot of other shows. The seasons are really short. So even though we're like so far into it, like I'm just like, how are they going to conclude all the craziness that's happened in such a small time that we have left? But. I mean, I've been proven wrong before, so I know they're going to be able yeah. to do it. I mean, we do know the season one finale is one of the best finales out there yep. and like superhero, yep. you know, media. So it's going to be really hard to compete with that. But the with the route that we're kind of on right now, I'm, you know, I kind of feel like there's a chance that we could get up there. But um, as someone who's not really like too in, like, like I'm not caught up with the comics. I'm not there. So I'm not like, you know, don't really know what's going on. But, um, you know, I, I really hope that we can keep up some crazy. Yeah, I really hope that we can do some craziness <laughs> and hope that it can match up to what we experience. And like I said, with the path we're on now, it seems like a possibility. That's how good it is. Yeah, very strong possibility without spoiling anything, because you are a book reader. Ronan, what is your some of your thoughts? Uh, emotional. De- no, um, I. <laughs> It, it, it's almost become now a, a cliche, but it just the stakes keep getting fucking higher, and the, the the our connections with these characters get fucking hardened. Like uh, again, not spoiling anything, but you see stuff you you figure by the first two episodes of this season of, of this this part of geez, that's what's weird. It's first two, the the first two episodes of this part of the season. And you figured, man, maybe we should go down this road instead for 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 beneficial for both parties or for major parties. Mm-hmm. And even when you see it clearly and the truth is out there, it doesn't take away the punch or the surprise. Yeah. And um, yeah, man, I fuck, I want I want to talk about some spoiler stuff, but I can't except that. This episode delivers on what we've seen thus far of part two, and it might, my opinion, might be the stronger part of this season, potentially. Yeah. I, I wholeheartedly believe that this start, this this half has been better than the first half, and I, I'm standing on that hill right now. Uh, it's just been, it's been different, action packed, emotional. Um, there's a lot of shock value, man. I mean, again, someone that's not familiar with the comics lot of moments that i'm just like what like what uh-huh. is happening next how is this happening i i don't even know if i'm allowed to say even more things but it's just like it just got my head is spinning bro i don't know what's gonna happen next i don't but here's the beautiful thing because you y'all know I'm, I'm, I'm the reader and i've only read to a certain part i remember stuff but as it was being played out i was like 
oh, this is new and stuff. I'm like, wait a minute, all right. This person shows up and then this is explained. Da, 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 da. So it's a unique thing to where whether you're a fan or not, you're still surprised. Unless if you've been trying to reread it up until each episode, which I don't recommend just because it, it takes away the experience. Like I've read this book a while back, but mm. the, the key moments are still intact. It's hidden and it's a beauty when, when the animation is surprising you with both the music choice and how sharks are taken. Um I'll, without not spoiling stuff, you best believe that there are moments that harken back to uh, beloved and classic superhero adaptations, movie shows, and whatnot. And I'll just leave it there. Yeah, if you are a fan of a very old uh, superhero show called Smallville, one of the things that they excelled in was taking you through the process of what does it look like to be a superhero and try to have relationships. Like, not just romantic relationships, but just friendships. Like, what does that really mean? And I think that the last two episodes, specifically even the last episode, where Mark had a real conversation with Mark Hamill's character, and, um, you know, Amber had a great conversation with Eve, and, like, those dissections of relationship and caring and friendship and family, like, even, like, when you think about, like, the Guardians, like, Rex Flood, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's as a character, he's evolved through his own tragedy, which is insane. Like, I never, if you go back to the first season to now, you never guess that Rex Blood and Invincible we have in any kind of conversation. Like, the cliche of it is like Rex Blood dated Eve, you know, whether you want to ship Invincible with Eve or not, this mm -hmm. man legitimately is like having like a really, like he's having a metamorphosis of his own personality. And it's kind of like, even in this episode, he had to kind of prove himself coming off of what he dealt with last time. He literally had his head blown off. Like, he lost team members on his own watch. And so, like, there are certain things that they do with what is a hero's, like, purpose um, that they circle around certain key characters. But specifically in this episode, when it comes to relationships, like, I was just, like, in awe of that. Because there was a specific episode that I want to mention, but it'll be a huge spoiler. Busy knows what I'm talking about, but there was a scenario that's very similar to this one. Um, and the same as that choices had to be made. And it's it's so amazing, dude. Like, this is such a good episode. But this this season, though, I, I don't know if I can say that the first part of this was as good as this. I feel like I just look at it as a whole. Like, if you go back and rewatch from the first episode all the way to this, this is just a superior season as a whole. Like, there's a lot of things that they're doing. I don't know how they're going to end it. I think that's the thing that I'm questioning is, like, how does this really, truly end? Um, but, yeah, any takeaways uh, and final thoughts on this episode before we? Uh... Man, I think it's just, like, there's going to be a lot more to say once we conclude everything. Because um, what these episodes have done have just brought up a lot of questions because we're introduced to characters, we're introduced to two characters that are showing off even more abilities than we've seen before and seeing them kind of just develop more. And it's just like, I want to see how they're going to be utilized in the upcoming episodes, whether it's the finale or, or season three, you know, just the possibilities are endless. So um, I just feel like once we watch the finale, there's going to be so much to talk about. We're going to be able to get everything off our chest. We're going to be able to talk about what's, what's this, this going to mean for this character. What's that going to mean for that character? And, um, I'm just really excited to just go nuts once we're uh, finally yeah, able your... to connect all the pieces. I think uh, my letter grade, I'll probably put this at an A. An A. Uh, really close to an A+. Plus. There were some moments, I think one of uh, uh, another great fight sequence that I feel like, you know, this show delivers on really heavily. So, I mean, that, that's one thing that I'm always a big fan of. Yeah, I mean, even comic book fans are going to love this episode. It's, it's so freaking much. <laughs> but um, Ronan, what is uh, your final thoughts and letter grade on this? <laughs> um, A plus, fool. It is A plus. Um, <laughs> I, I cannot think of, a, of, a, of an episode that made me so happy to be the kind of person I am with what I do with uh, YouTube and pop culture and all that stuff and what I take in and just an observer of where these characters and this story is going um, again folks for, if you're seeing this we're doing a non-spoiler just to get you to know that we're hyped as hell 
The show should be hyped as hell. It should be doing as banger numbers as any of the big shows have been for the past decade, in my opinion. And we're, we're politely holding back the raw stuff we want to get out of the way for y'all. But uh, rest assured that once you do see it, one of us will be dropping dropping something spoilers for you to talk, and you'll you'll get it. What? God damn that shot! <laughs> you'll get it once we once we open up the Pandora's box. You'll get where we're coming from. But uh, amazing, amazing um, story, amazing. Yeah, there's there's characters we haven't mentioned. We haven't really mentioned anything. There's mm-hmm. certain things that they do, certain characters they tackle. That I just I'm in awe of. Uh, I mean, I, I put this picture up here for a reason because this character had an amazing <sighs> refining moment. Um, without saying too much, and that's just the the tip of the iceberg. This is an A plus for me. Like I I dare I say this is one of the best so far because it's not just because yes it had a dope surprise ending. Yes, it had an amazing fight. Yes, it had you know, interesting setup, but the follow through with the emotional threads, like how every character is at where they're at right now is such a pivotal place. I don't know what happens after that. You know what I mean? So I think that it's so exciting, but yeah, yeah that's our, that's my final thoughts. Uh, busy. Where can everybody find your content? man? Busy brawn everywhere. Busy reactions on Instagram, and I'm looking forward to dropping my reactions for every episode, so you guys can watch my reaction for this episode when the episode is live. Same thing with um our reviews. I look forward to dropping more reviews over here. So just pay attention. It's gonna be great. Yes, sir. And Ronan, where can everybody find your content, dude? You can find me at Ronan on Chain on YouTube on the social medias. Uh, likewise, I'll be dropping my reaction sets, and best believe that I have an idea of maybe. After each episode drops, the next following day, we may or may not have a live stream talking spoilers. So you never know. You never know what the universe brings into this. So you'll want to uh, stay tuned and tune into the channel. He's going to be on TikTok, y'all. Be prepared. <laughs> be prepared. Be prepared. We're going to go, guys. All right. Until next time, stay tuned. Our reaction for the finale. Whatever happens, remember this moment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a sister, 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 I'